Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm gonna share with you how you can really stand out in the hearts and in the eyes of quality men. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious, ambitious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the man you want and enter into the best relationship of your life so far as a result of being your best self without the need for gimmicks or manipulation or crazy techniques. Now, if you are interested in attracting your ideal guy, a man that you feel excited about, that you feel proud of, that you feel he's an awesome man, and you want to stand out in a sea of other cool women, then this video is for you. First thing I want to share with you is a bit of news that you probably know in some way, maybe not with exact words, and it's like the elephant in the room that no one's really addressing in this direct way. I'm just gonna put it out there. In today's day and age, there are far more conscious women than conscious men. That's the reality the way I see it. Now, it doesn't mean that you can find an awesome guy, it just means that there's more women, more conscious women per conscious guys. That's just the way it is. So if you do want to access and connect to those guys, you need to stand out. That's just like the way life works. Now, standing out does not mean becoming someone you're not, doesn't mean uh, playing hard to catch, doesn't mean uh, being flashy or being a personality that's not your own. It really is about going into yourself and expressing your best self out there so that you can stand out. Now, I know that this bit of news may not A, be a surprise for you, but B, may not feel awesome. Here's what I have to share with you that it's not incredibly difficult to stand out if you do what I'm about to share with you right now, because not everybody's doing it, right? First thing I want you to do, if you want to stand out among other women who are competing for those conscious guys out there, I want you to treat yourself the way you want men to treat you. So think about it. What would happen if you were to treat yourself with a kindness, compassion, finesse, uh, pursuit, the way you would expect for an awesome guy who likes you and desires you and wants you, would treat you, what if you were to do that with yourself? What does that mean? When you look at yourself in the mirror and you're about to be incredibly mean to yourself and look at, instead of the gorgeousness of you, look at that one little bit of extra fat that you think people are looking at but no one is looking at but you, when you're about to, you have a beautiful face and you're looking at that one small wrinkle of imperfection, instead of looking at your eyes, your smile, <laughs> that your features, which are appealing and exciting, you may be focusing on the black dot on a big white dre uh, dress or shirt. So treat yourself the way you want to treat you. Be kind to yourself. Be, do the things you, you love. If you would like for a guy to take you out and do awesome things with you that are fun, how about if you start doing those things for yourself right now? How about if you, whenever you feel like you're less than, whenever you feel like other women are better than you, you play up your strengths, you connect with what's awesome and unique and different in you, and you become grateful for what you have versus ungrateful for what you don't have. That would be a fir first step that can get you into this mindset that will help you exude a different light, different vibe, different radiance than you would when you treat yourself unkindly. Number two, spend more time exploring who you are and what you want. Why is this important? Because to stand out, you need to be able to express more of you, but you can't express more of you if you don't really know what it is that you want. So what do you love? What do you hate? What is your life about? What are your hobbies? What are your dreams? What are things that make your heart sing? What are things that make you light up like a Christmas tree that have nothing to do with guys? How about if you spend some time exploring that and then step number three, express more of you versus what you think he wants. When you connect with a man, when you engage in a conversation, in an exchange of energies, in a flirty situation with a guy, and you start going to your brain and start saying, well, what would he want me to say? And how would he want me to be? And what is he looking for? Instead of all that BS, how about if you know yourself so much that you play up your strengths and you express more of you, more of your quirkiness, more of your likes, more of your dislikes, Instead of being vanilla and trying to be liked by everyone, become Rocky Road, become pistachio with nuts <laughs> flavor. Be unique and you and the right guy 
will feel very excited at your specificity versus a generality that's vanilla that is just a watered down version of you in an attempt to get him. Be more of you and the right guy will feel excited about that. Number four, get more in touch with your body to start unwinding the stiffness. Here's what I mean by that. Throughout years of being alive, throughout years of connecting with men who are unconscious, throughout years of feeling rejected, throughout years of self flagellating yourself for not being perfect and calling yourself names in secret, throughout years of looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing the parts of you that are ugly in your own mind versus the parts of you that are beautiful, your body has shifted and has become more stiff and has become more guarded and has become less expressive. So if you get in touch with your own body, if you get in touch with things, exercises, uh, situations, habits that allow you to move more freely, anything from dancing to yoga to running to shouting to painting to anything that allows you to let the energy flow from your body and start unwinding all those twists that you've accumulated throughout a life of closing and putting out walls, the more expressive you are in a natural way, the more attractive you become to men. Men are wired to feel attracted to openness, to movement, to flow, to femininity. So the more you can in your own way express your body, and it requires a habit. Why? Because you've done this for years. You've stiffened your body through years. So it's going to take some time for you to unstiffen yourself, to express yourself. It's in your smile. It's in the way you look at him. It's in the way you uh, answer a question. It's in the way you have a stiff face instead of an open, welcoming face. Those small things make a huge difference. One small difference can make the distinction between a man being attracted to you and being willing to pursue you and being willing to ask you questions versus him feeling like you are closed off and you're gonna reject him. So just be very aware of your body, get in touch with it, play up that movement and allow the expressivity of you to reach people around you, men and women, in deeper ways. Number five, and this is super important and it's so easy to do, but it requires a habit, which is reconnect with gratitude and let your face show it. Why? I mean, think about it. You're a woman in an ocean of other women who are attempting to create a connection with a guy. Most of these women are facing the same challenges you are and are also with a tight body and are also with a tight attitude and are also fearful and are also less expressive. So if you express yourself with 10% more light, you are by definition blowing out most people out of the water because most people are not doing this. So yes, you do need to express more, but when you express more, there's not that much competition. Let me tell you, I know it seems weird, but it is true. So reconnect with gratitude, figure out what makes you feel excited to be alive. What can you drop down to your knees to thank the earth, your creator, whatever you believe in, and feel connected to that excitement of being alive. The more you let your face and your body show it, the more irresistible you become. Number six, ask more specific questions. You want to stand out with quality men when you connect with men? Have fun, have fun banter, uh, ask back and forth go into basic stuff, but ask specific stuff. Figure out what they want, figure out what their life is about, figure out what moves them, what drives them, figure out what they want in a relationship. Why? Because if the guys you're connecting with are looking for something specific, they're going to be excited about you asking specific questions. If the guys you're connecting with are interested in a generic situation, they're unclear about what they want, they want a one night stand, or they just want to energetically exchange energy with women without committing, then those guys are going to be afraid or going to run away when you ask good questions. So a litmus test of a man who wants something that is awesome for you is when you can ask questions regarding what he's looking for and he's able to answer them with clarity. And he gets excited about the fact that you're not wasting your time either. Number seven, set clear boundaries. Why? Because if you set clear boundaries, that shows your value to a man. That shows him that he has to step up. He has to be better than. He has to do it the right way or he loses you. You need to have a firm stance on what you believe in and what things you're willing to accept and not accept. You need to be kind in your delivery, but if you're clear on what you want, that puts you in a different category. 
If you value yourself more, he by definition feels more valuable when he's with you. So I hope you find all of this useful and insightful. And if you do, I'm going to invite you to sign up for free to my class that I created for you. Uh, all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video, enter in an email, and you'll be immediately redirected to that class that will share with you with more detail and more specificity how to enter the relationship you want. Now, if you find that this is helpful and useful, also click like or thumbs up on this video. And last but not least, if you're listening to this video, you find value in it, you've been watching videos for a while or doing books or doing other things and you're not getting what you want and you want help hand-holding, a second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. And if we're a good fit, I can personally help you to get what you want in a lot, a lot faster and with a lot less pain than your past. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life. Thank <laughs> you.